Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien and Bubba here on the morning of Tuesday, May 19, 2020. Well, here in Georgia today, they're going growling because they're saying that the governor lied on the numbers when he opened up Georgia. Well, duh. Every state's going to be saying that soon when the cases start piling up, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I told you so, but you know, you guys never listen to the alien. Anyway, uh, here is a uh, answer to a Mary Ann Washburn, if I pronounce that right, and a Richard John. Rojo Hovitz, I think that's the way you spell it. I'm going by the program. Rojo Hovitz, <laughs> yeah. If I mispronounce that, let me know, Richard, uh, and Marianne. But your question was, hey, alien, you screwed up. You're anti-Trump. If you notice in the old history, uh, Theodore Roosevelt was like Trump. He fired the guy that ran the Panama Canal. And he's like Trump. Well, for Marianne and Richard, this, and I hate to be this mean, but uh, this puts my question that I have on you guys. Watermelons for brains? You must be Democrats, or you must be Republicans. Pardon me, Republicans. <laughs> Democrats. <laughs> Republicans. Because the way you're, you're pro-Trump here, I'm not pro, I'm not anti-Trump. I just don't like the guy because he's doing a lousy job. And you just can't say no because he's messing up this country left and right. And here is the problem. On your case with Theodore Roosevelt, no, he did not fire Mr. Stevens. If you read your history right, you would have known he didn't. Mr. Stevenson quit in 1907. Why? Well, Mr. Stevenson made the, made the big mistake of bringing his family down to Panama when he got appointed in 1906. And they got yellow fever and died real fast, too. Both his wife and daughter died. He was a broken man when he left in 1907. Now, President Roosevelt, being like President Trump, I don't like nobody getting the, telling me I'd go stick it and f quitting. So I'm going to appoint a guy that he cannot f quit. So he appointed George W. Gothels, a military person at the time, to finish up the Panama Canal. And he did from 1907 to 14. And there's a huge uh, obelisk down in Panama by the administration building of the Canal Zone that's related to Dor George W. Gothels. Okay? And Stevens, hey, poor guy, he just got the little round circle around the, what used to be the old commissary, the post office, and the clubhouse in the Canal Zone, and they called it Stevens Circle, and that's all he got. <laughs> but anyway, oh yeah, and you're saying, and that who was that George Gorgas? Da. Dr. Gorgas went on to be the 22nd Surgeon General of the United States later on in life. Uh, do, do you guys smoke something over there that I don't know? Because this is public knowledge here. Or did you, they teach you to have watermelons in history class? They must have done that. So I can get some stupid questions like that. And you're not the only one. I got a lot of them. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying, that Americans have watermelons for brains. And they're acting dumb on this pandemic. Because your ancestors back in the early 20th century, they didn't know for sure that mosquitoes caused yellow fever. Like I said, they gave Mr. Dr. Gorgas a hell of a bad time. That's his own colleagues and the president. Gave him a hell of a bad time. And he mitigated it. He didn't cure it. There's no cure for yellow fever. There might not be any cure for COVID-19. 
This is your favorite alien, Ed Bubba, saying, Come on, Americans, get that light bulb on.